Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an accordion style FAQ section in a Squarespace 7.1 website. Now we can see here I've already logged in and I'm on a new page where I'm going to create this accordion. So I'm going to select edit so we can get to work. Now you can add this to any existing section, but I'll go ahead and create a new one for us. Just a blank section for us to get started. The first part of this is using an on-page code block to insert some JavaScript. So let me do that a little bit slower here. I'm gonna select this little droplet button that appears and I'm gonna add an on-page code block. Now this code is uh, pretty lengthy and I can't actually use these little um, carrot symbols here in a YouTube description. So I've created a cheat sheet specifically for this tutorial that you can copy and paste this code right out of. So check the link beneath this video so you can download the cheat sheet for this FAQ. All right, so the first section is pasting this JavaScript and I'll select apply. Now it's saying right here, it's an embedded script, it's disabled, I'm not gonna show you a thing. Don't worry, that's what it's supposed to look like and it will show up. So next we're going to add the actual section we'd like for the FAQs here. This is going to be done in a markdown block. This is different than a code block, so it's really important you select markdown. Now here, this is also in the cheat sheet, I'm going to paste my questions and my answers. It's very important that you use the specific hashtag symbols here in the beginning of those questions. That makes sure that this code works. So these are set up for displaying an header three type text for my question. In the cheat sheet, I also have an example for using an H2 or an H4. So uh, don't worry, that gets into it a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you what those are for and definitely make sure that matches what you copy and paste out of the cheat sheet. All right, after you've pasted that here, I'll select apply and we'll select save, one of my favorite features of 7.1. You can save while you're working and let's see what this looks like. We'll take a step back and we'll expand the site to get the preview here and you'll notice those answers are gone, but when I click on a question, it will appear. Pretty awesome, right? I think so. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining me and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you're just getting started with Squarespace 7.1, I'm here to help. Head on over to it71.com for more tutorials, workshops, and other information exclusively designed for Squarespace 7.1.